Yeah, I was just, I didn't realize so hard on there. I didn't realize that you that you uh looked up to that dude from oh, from some of ridiculous. One of my favorite MCs, Raz Royce. Raz Royce is, is one of the nicest yeah. niggas ever. Yeah, yeah well, oh man. You, well, we got to get your opinion on this because you're from the West Coast. What do you think about the shit between Royce and, and Mr. That's Fab? Yeah. You know what? I talked to Glasses about that. We got that squashed. It was a misunderstanding from what happened at a battle because, you know, I had both of them on the couch, Royce. Yeah. And at first, I was upset about it and I said, Glasses, we got to talk to Fab. You know what I'm saying? Because. This is fucking off what the whole point of couch work was. Mm -hmm. And that was the coming together of two movements of two places. Because we all the same. And it was just it was just on some friendly competition shit. And you know, you got other niggas on both sides trying to extra shit out. It goes somewhere else. Yeah, because it was another, starting to get out of hand, yeah. man. Because you had Royce, you know, getting Trick Trick on his recording and getting... Uh, you know what Trick Trick Lord. involved, what it's going to yeah, be. Yeah, And then from the Oakland side with how that gets down, you know what I mean? And But that's always the devil just trying to fuck up something positive. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Glasses got on the phone with Fab and got Royce on the phone, and that shit was squashed. At the same time, another situation happened because Fab had another freestyle. Fab is my nigga. That's why I was like, I got to talk to my nigga because this, this ain't going to work. At the same time, me is my nigga, so we got to make this work. But he said something about black milk, and niggas thought he was dissing black milk. Mm. Oh man, okay. So then that got Hex involved, and now it's all fucking bad. You God know what damn. I'm saying? And we got it situated, so that's all church. As soon as I heard about it, I was like, you gotta fix that. So the shit between Fabby and, and fucking Royce is all straight. Everything's good. That's done, my nigga. Thank that's you for the church. exclusive. I'm, I'm happy to announce that. That ain't, that ain't what the movement's about. You know what I mean? It's about real motherfuckers rolling together and making fresh ass records. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't even fight with bitch ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? You let them go change their panties and their tampons, leave them to themselves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, hell, man, I appreciate that you're even dealing with Detroit because normally it'd be California and fucking New York, yeah, you know. So, you I mean, know, yeah, Detroit yeah. is like my second home, man, and um, I love it out there. And if it wasn't for that whole sound, I wouldn't I wouldn't be the kind of artist I am today because when Dilla came on the scene and, and M came and the whole D12 movement, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it, it changed everything for me, sonically and lyrically. When I first heard the first slum shit, when I first heard them on Common Album, it was game over. And I got that fantastic voyage, so I'm indebted to them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why I rode so tough with their little brother, you know what I'm saying, Ella J. Okay. That's why I love Mama Yancey like I love Mama Yancey, being Frank Nitty, whatever it is. How I roll with Slum Village with T3 and Elza, it's all family. So whatever I can do to elevate them, that's just paying them back for helping me be the kind of MC that I am. You know what I mean? When I heard Welcome to Detroit, when I first heard my first Dilla beat, you know what I'm saying? It's like, mm -hmm. shit, thank you, niggas. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> J-Mac shit right there, that Welcome to Detroit. Hell yeah. Hell oh, my God. And that nigga was talking that shit, talking about hit you so hard, you pop on the other side of the earth with the <laughs> Japanese. I mean business. Your vocal sounds dry like the under raincoats. That nigga's crazy. That nigga, and he keep getting better. Now he's working on a solo album, so I can't wait. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. So, so it's, it's just dope shit like that, so you know? You've traveled all over the place. What's the what's the totally off topic? What's the best fucking nightclub you've ever been in? I really don't go to the nightclubs, man. I'll be having a horse in a hotel room. Sweet. That's what's the <laughs> <best>. <laughs> a round of applause for that state. You know what I mean? Stay the fuck out of the club. Ain't no need for no club, goddammit. I mean, oh, you go, go, stand in line. You know, this is a tight ass little VIP and be looked at like a fish in a bowl. <laughs> and you got it. You got all these niggas looking at you. You can just cut out all that bullshit and just had a bitches come to you. Either in the studio the business. or yeah. in the hotel room. Come knock you down and leave. Or stay and wake up and knock you down again. Take all your man gravy <laughs> and then go. <laughs> <laughs> man gravy. Man, man gravy. gravy. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, man. Shit. He's a nut, man. Wow. I can't Shit. help it. But I mean, that's, I, I don't be, I don't, you know what? Nah, I don't, I don't, I, when I was in Miami, I was going to a lot of clubs with Scott and them, but I just liked having them in the hotel rooms, man. That's the best way. You got the music there or your own music you made, make the bitches dance to the instrumentals or whatever. They give you new <laughs> ideas. <laughs> And ain't no dress code in the hotel room. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Man, oh man, this is right, speaking man. truth. Damn. Man, shoot, man. I ain't trying to cut it short, man, but we got to holler at your boy, man. We got, we supposed to have Stack calling in, so. Oh, man, that's my pimp, and I can't wait for his album. And uh, we got some fly shit, man. Me and Stack, man. We got such magic, and that dude is so overdue. That dude is so fresh. You know what I'm saying? And not just because we label mates, but that's one of my best friends, and that nigga's an amazing MC, man. He know what it is. When you talk to him, you see. You know what I'm saying? And, and we roll. I remember when I first signed, and that was one of the first dudes that gave me all the game I needed to do what I needed to do to make it pop over there with Dre and with the label and with Interscope. Ain't too many niggas that's going to tell you the truth and tell you like it is because niggas can be looking out for themselves. 
and that nigga gave me nothing but gems. So I, I roll with that nigga 100, you know what I'm saying, 100%. That's, that's changing changing the South, like, Yeah, that is spitting heat straight. That nigga, that nigga's got the most mixtapes. I thought I was a hard working yeah, nigga. He, that he nigga's got hot sauce warehouse. But, this nigga's got a million hot sauce mixtapes and everything else. But, this nigga don't stop. But free mixtapes? I'm gonna have true. to hand it to you, man. True, yeah, true, man. true. Oh, true. shit. All right, everybody. And the king man. of beepers. True. I do got that shit. <laughs> man, any last words, man? You want to get out there man, to the people? Um, shit, just I appreciate all the love, man. I appreciate this interview. Y'all oh, supporting, God. you know what I'm saying, the movement and everything coming. The reformation is almost finished. That shit is so stupid. I, I put my soul into it. Um, Staten Atlanta coming. Detox is coming. Uh, Focus got an album coming. The producer mm -hmm. focus. The nine got an album coming. It's, it's the Super Friends and shit. It's Justice League. It's some cold shit going down. <laughs> and, um, look out for the Pope Mobile, man. Um, that's that's gonna be some real foolish shit right there. It's gonna come out on Christmas, maybe Christmas Eve. I might even put it in your stocking, Christmas stockings earlier. But um, it's, it's it's gonna be fresh. I just appreciate the support, man. And just keep pushing this hip hop shit, man. And stop hating. All right, man. I, I think I think that's a blanket statement. Stop hating. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's the truth, man. though. Well, shoot, we appreciate your time, man. Yeah, we Definitely. hope we hope you can come back when you're triple platinum and not and not ignoring us because most people do. Oh no, <laughs> man, I keep in touch, man. That ain't shit to me, man. I'm about the music, man. We try to move, you know what I'm saying? All right, Definitely. man. That's Ooh. what it is. All right, man. Bishop Lamont, man. Y'all shoot, y'all heard it here. This W man. Yeah, we'll post the links up on the website. Make sure you check them out. Uh, I think it's, it's bishoplamont.com. And uh, what's your MySpace page again? Man, you know I'm a guy okay, man. It's uh, it's uh. It's a MySpace backslash Bishop Lamont, I think. Don't quote me. Okay, we'll put it up. But, uh, we'll find it. We'll put it up. We'll put it up. Just go to our site. We'll put it up there, and everybody can check it out. Stop hating, there. niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stop making all these angry songs. Like I said before, stop making angry songs. You, you want niggas to like you? That don't sound right. Make some sexy songs for the bitches. Get bitches. Stop talking about niggas. Get some, bust some man gravy. Stop hating. Nigga. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Appreciate it, bro. All right, man. All right, Bless you, John. All right, All right man. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> man, he's the one up. and only, man. Bishop, Bishop Lamont. Lamont. That yes, dude sir. is something else, man. <laughs> Let's jump into a track. Hallelujah, man. We're going to represent the West, man. This is Nipsey. It's called Where You From, baby. Episode 56. <laughs> 